Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? I hope you're all doing well today. So I'm going to tell you guys the story of how I found my first paid bug. So grab a bucket of popcorn, grab a drink, sit tight and let's get started, shall we? So the first thing I want to tell you guys, I started out basically as a complete and utter noob. So the story of how I found my first paid bug is not going to be anything heroic. It's basically just some stuff stupid thing but I hope you guys can find some lessons from it now I cannot give you guys too much details of course because the bug is not officially disclosed so uh, I'm going to tell you guys very roughly how I went about it not exactly what I found of course um, now my basic strategy is very simple and it always has been um, I was going to try for some attack factors that I usually try and I'm going to insert them everywhere that I could find. But I basically didn't know anything about hacking back then. Um, it was basically when I first started, um, the very, very first thing I actually found was a duplicate. So the very, very first thing was, that I found was um, a cross-site scripting vulnerability. And it came down to some integration points. The integration points were that the program that I was testing actually had a desktop client and it also had a web client and if you entered the cross-site scripting attack factor in the web client, it showed up in the desktop client. And I basically found it because I followed my basic strategy, I copied XSS attack factors and I pasted them in everywhere that I could find. And basically whenever I came across some point in the application, that uses that data, if it's vulnerable to, to that cross-site scripting attack factor, it will get triggered and I'll automatically get notified. So that's basically how I found my first bug, my first real bug. And when I found that pop-up, I was so excited. I entered my, my cross-site scripting attack factors, went through testing, uh, didn't find anything on the web application. So I was like, okay, why not just try to proxy my whole, whole system through Burp? Uh, and I'll just set my target up properly in my scope. Uh, and then I'll go and download the desktop client and test that a little bit because I'll be able to capture the traffic that way through Burp. And I did that and I opened the desktop client and the first thing that I noticed was my alert popping up and I was like, okay, this is a web view application we are in guys. So that was my basically my first cross site scripting. I reported it. Waited a couple of days. I was so happy that I found something. I'm like, oh yeah, I can be a bug bounty hunter because I reported some really bad stuff before that. Like really bad stuff. Like, I don't laugh at me guys, but I reported that IDs identifiers should never be sequential. I reported that then. I'm really ashamed, but it's a mistake that I had to make and it's what I call experience. So I went through that phase. I actually found something that was valid and then I got that dreaded email that said duplicate and my, my whole world was basically crushed because it was a pretty well-paying program as well. It was not hacker one, one of the bigger players and it was really cool. Um, but then, you know, I, I had my, my doubts about myself like everybody does, like, oh, well, all I found is like bad stuff and duplicates. I cannot find anything. And then I had my period, but I went through it pretty quickly I always do and about two weeks later I was hunting again on on, uh, on different targets and I found another blind cross-site scripting this time because I learned a little bit extra and I went to cross-site scripting hunter xsshunter.com and on XSS Hunter, you can basically test for blind cross-site scripting but I use the payloads because they provide pretty good payloads if you actually get a cross-site scripting to trigger, but you cannot pro uh, bypass the CSP or anything, try the XSS Hunter payloads. They're pretty good, actually. Uh, and that's how I basically found my first real bug that was paid. I went there, I copied all of the attack factors, and I basically pasted them into a text document. So I had one long string containing all of my attack factors and I pasted them every single place that I could find, you know. And that, again, I followed the basic steam attack strategy and that really paid off because I was going through the application and in some very, very far off place. I, I don't know if it was new functionality or what, but the functionality was super, super hidden on the website. 
And there my cross-site scripting triggered. And I knew that because I got an email from XSS Hunter saying that the, the uh, payload actually fired. And because I actually got that call from XSS Hunter, because I got that email, that also immediately notified me that I could include external scripts and stuff like that if I used the correct payload. So that was really cool. That was how I got my first paid bug. It was paid pretty well. Um, it, it basically happened by chance. All of the other bugs I found after that, I had a specific methodology in mind. I was really going for IDORs and broken access control after the first cross-site scripting. But I still, I still to this day, I insert my cross-site scripting attack factors whenever I start out. And I also insert SSTI now because I included that one into my uh, into my rep uh, to my repository as well, you know. So that's basically the story of how I found my first bug. It's really cool that you guys made it this far into the video. Um, I'll make some more videos about some other bugs I found as well if you guys are interested. And if, it would be really cool if I could disclose some bugs. A couple of you guys have asked me to disclose some things. But I haven't had any bugs that can be disclosed yet, so that's not possible for now. Um, whenever it becomes possible, of course, of course, as soon as I can, I will publicly disclose bugs. But for now, that's not possible. So sorry for that, guys. If you've made it this far, I would really appreciate it if you liked this video. Thank you guys so much for listening. Uncle Red really appreciate it. And I really enjoy having each and every single one of you on the channel. Thank you so much, amazing hackers, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.